Hey, hi everybody. So John, I'm going to show you one of my favorites today. Okay. It's called Orchiette with Broccoli Rob. What does Orchiette mean? <laughs> I was just going to say, you're probably saying, what is that? Orchiette is actually a little pasta. And you can see, Orchiette, well, is this? Yeah, Orchiette means little ears in Italian. Oh great. And this okay. is a real nice hearty pasta. So that's, Wonderful. What, that's what we're going to be using. And this is the broccoli rabe. Let me show you guys in case you're not familiar with it. It's also called, you, you, you may also see it called rapini. Okay, so what you want to do, you're going to see, like I said, it's got the ends that are kind of rough. Okay. So you're going to want to go up. Let me get this so you guys can see. You're going to want to go up almost to the leaves. Oh, okay. okay. And then that's the part, that's the part you're gonna, that you're going to use. All right. Okay. So we clean all this. Clean we got it. the We're going to clean all this. Yep. And in case in? if you do, let me just show you this too. Even if, if, see, like this one's a little bit stemmier. You don't, you don't want to go, you know, you want to, you can trim it on the ends too. Oh, so just like you are cleaning broccoli. Yeah, you just like trim you are off cleaning. the woody parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to, okay, so we got that there. And what we're going to do is bring a large pot of water. Uh, to a boil. Okay, I got well, that started. Got that started. Okay, yep. throw a handful of salt in there. Okay. And let me get some of this stuff out of the way here a little bit. And then what we're going to do is get a skillet. Yep. Uh, put our put our um, olive oil in there, and okay. I and red pepper flakes, of course. Okay. And anchovy paste. And guess what? We're ready to drop the pasta. Okay, I see the water's boiling. <laughs> the water's pasta. boiling away, and you know we really want a generous and powerful. I want you to see, I mean, like really. <laughs> yeah, see now that to me, I would have thought that's too much, but you need it. No, you really need it for your, for your seasoning. This is okay. kosher salt, but you can also use sea salt. And of course, you know, in Italy, they always say they want the water should be like the sea. Well, <laughs> you know, it's a lot of salt, salt but, but I just use it. I use a general sea bowl. And okay. this right here is our pan. Um, or skillet. I'm gonna. It's, it's about a quarter of a cup. Just you know, a couple you turns. Let that heat couple turns you, around the pan. While you throw the um, yep. pasta in. Mm -hmm. okay. Just for a second. And so now we're gonna get ready. It's just all we do. Just put it right in. Throw a little pasta ears in there. Put ears in there. Yep. Okay. Just give a quick stir there, just to make sure. All right. Now let me ask you a question. How long will that pasta cook for? Eight nine minutes. Okay. It's about eight nine minutes. But we're okay. we're gonna do it about six minutes. I mean, I'm sorry, eight minutes, because we want it a little bit shy of al dente. Okay. Okay. So while that's going, and this is this, we got this going. We've got we've got our garlic here. I'm gonna put that in, and you we'll start the garlic first. Just be careful and watch it. Do it on low. You don't want it to burn. Right. Okay. So let's we'll just get that going just a little bit there. Now what are we gonna add to that? I see we got red pepper. We've got um, yep. the anchovy paste. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, um, you had about a, this you may want to measure, <laughs> yeah. just because it's hot. It's about an eighth of a teaspoon. Oh, okay. Okay. And it's, and it's really great to add it this way, you know, heats it up and starts the flavors going. It really, I noticed as soon it as you really, add it to the olive oil, you can start smelling those flavors. It's fragrant. So it releases yep. the fragrance, mm -hmm. doesn't yep. it? Yep. And so you're, like I said, just a little bit here. Get your, get your garlic going, get that started. Now for the anchovy uh, paste, because it's, it's kind of salty. We're not going to add any more salt. You got the no, salt in that water no. mm -mm. for flavor. So mm -mm. just the the paste is going to take care right. of it. Right. And depending on, I mean, I I put three tablespoons. Okay. In, but you can That's do two to you. three. So, oops. Let me see if you guys can see it. So it's basically. One. Oh, good. It's like a big big old circle around yeah. the pan. Yeah. Yeah. It's really to your preference too. And now with this, how long are you going to let this cook? Because obviously we have to wait for the pasta. We have to wait for that. What I do is I let it cook. Yeah. Three or four minutes. Couple minutes. Okay. Couple minutes. And this, what's going to happen? I don't know if you can tell, but see the way it is. It's going to all. That's going to uh, dissolve. Huh? Dissolve down and melt in, right and in. And that's there. what you want. Okay. And that's what you want. The uh, orchette has been cooking for about eight nine minutes. So, like I said, I'm going to take our rapi and put it right in, just right in with the pasta. Don't be afraid. It actually saves you a clean up of another pan. <laughs> So just drop it in there, just like that. Get it all in. Give it just a quick stir. How long will that will that cook, Patty? <laughs> it's going to be about two or three minutes. You'll see it. Oh, great! It'll wilt down. You'll see. It. Everything's ready. Our orchette and our rapi, and we're just going to take it. I'm going to have John do it. Okay, I got the top holders. Right <laughs> <in> our, <laughs> I'm going to drop it right in. I'm going to back up actually a minute. Yeah, so you can see that all cooked together. Yeah. And I just drained it and I got just, most of the water out. Yep. And yep, just pour it right yep, in there. Just huh? pour it right in. 
It's mm -hmm. okay if there's a little extra liquid. Oh yeah, it? yeah. It's all, that's always okay because it, we may even want it a little touch more. Oh my goodness, this is How's really it? filling it Yay. right up. Yay. Okay. I do incorporate everything together. This smells really good, you guys. You can really smell the garlic and the anchovies. Oh, that looks we'll great. Just mix it all. Make sure, you know, just come from the bottom up. Mix it all together. I actually, we've got a really great extra virgin olive oil. And I actually like to give it another little turn around the pan. Oh, great. Just to put a little more, just a little light topping, you know, like a finishing oil. And can we put some cheese in there? Yep. Oh, great. And just as soon as I mix that in a little bit, and we'll just add a little cheese. I got, this one is Parmigiano Reggiano, but you can also use Pecorino Morano. And it's just, like I said, just a nice little bit of cheese. I like to stir it in a little bit. And then, of course, serve it at the table with a little more red pepper flakes and with your cheese. Wow, and you're all set. Looks <laughs> great. I'm going to zoom right in on that. That looks fantastic. Okay.